Just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Sorry it's a little bit windy today, but today I am going to be taking the scat pack over to Sirius HP. Hopefully this is the last time we're going to be doing this and I'll uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about that on the way, but this is a loner. Uh, my wife's car got a little accident. Someone just bumped into her while it was parked. So we got this loner rental. Kind of a funny thing about the rental. Um, so their insurance company was paying for the rental itself. And um, so we went to Enterprise and they allocated $20 a day for the rental. And that would get a compact like a Mirage. I can't imagine my wife and kids being in a Mirage when I have her, I got her a, a pilot touring. Um, it's old now, that's a 12, but still like a, you know, $45,000 SUV into a Mirage, like a tiny little Econo car. That's not cool. We just paid the difference to get like a, a normal car. I mean, this is just an Ultima, it's nothing special. Um, we have to pay like $10 a month extra to get it. And then when we contacted their insurance company, they said that uh, Texas, they just have to provide a vehicle. It doesn't have to be the same vehicle or anything. So whatever, it's 10 bucks a day, but it's just kind of annoying. All right, let's do a cold start and let's get going. to talk a little bit about uh, what we're gonna do with the car right now so I'm gonna take it to Sirius HP they're gonna fix the tune they're gonna keep it overnight for as many days as they need to fix it 100% and I'd like them to drive it and everything just make sure it's perfect and my headphones are in because I was just on a call so I don't listen to headphones in the car but I just like I like using the headphones rather than Bluetooth for some reason. The Bluetooth, it just feels like I can't hear people well and they can't hear me well in every car I've ever been in. And the headphones are perfect. So they're gonna fix the tune and I'm also having them change the oil and put new plugs in the car. Um, if you remember from when I picked up the car, I asked them and they said that they regapped the uh, stock plugs rather than putting a new set of colder plugs in. So I'm just gonna have them put the actual colder set in and um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Much it. I mean, I hope everything goes well. If everything goes well, I'm going to be ordering the drive shaft and everything that I'm going to need and trying to make it to the YouTube call out. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. It may or may not. Keep left onto South Sam Houston to Y West after two miles. So I'm going to try to make it to that event, but I'm not sure if I will. It's going to really depend on if I can get the car straightened out by then because I need the car to be a hundred percent which I want to have an upgraded radiator in it drive shaft rear differential brace which I have they're just not installed yet and a thermostat so just those uh, four things drive shaft diff brace thermostat and radiator which is probably gonna cost I don't know nearly two grand for that stuff which I'm not too happy about but I'm just looking to make the car as reliable as possible and I want it to to run good you know i don't want to have to worry about the drive shaft braking especially if i'm going far um stuff like cooling and that kind of thing is isn't something i want to be worried about so i just want it to be 100 percent i mean because i am going to drive a, a boosted car on a 3,000 mile road trip and uh drag race it at the destination so that's pretty crazy especially crazy to do with a car that's been as um finicky as this one has and it always it, it's always ran i mean just the tune issues are just stalling and just weird stuff like that like just weird drivability it's never like not worked when i took the road trip to dallas it did um go into lip mode a couple times and i just had to get it off of that mode and then drive it back and they fixed that problem whatever it was but it just seems like there's always something with the car it just doesn't seem Keep like it's left onto south sam houston to y west it doesn't seem like it's um i don't know it just doesn't seem correct and I just want it like completely dialed in before I start doing anything else to it and spending money on something, you know, like drive shaft and all that stuff when I'm not even sure the car's gonna work correctly for now. And I have been driving it. As you can see, I've got, how many miles is that? 91.46. And that's why you got adaptive cruise control. 
but I got 9146 miles on here so um, since the last video and the last problems I've, I have driven the car a good 200 300 miles at least and uh, the last fill up for those of you who follow me on Instagram the last fill up I actually put Chevron in the car instead of uh, the Sam's Club gas that I usually get because I've gotten a lot of comments that the Sam's Club gas is crap and I don't know if it is or not I don't think it is because it's a major retailer and actually the shop and tuners have told me that their gas is okay but I know for everybody that says it's okay there's a equal number of people that say it's not it's just a lot more money to go to a different gas station and plus with Sam's Club I get my 3% reward I think something like that so just makes the most sense to get all my gas at Sam's Club um, and it's close by so we'll see how that goes. I don't think it's fuel related. I really didn't notice the car running any different with the Chevron gas. I, I don't think it's fuel related, but I figured I would try it. Um, the car hasn't stalled since that first day that I can recall, but it wasn't stalling the next day either. So that's the weird thing. Like, like the car will, I know it's not supposed to learn, but it seems to. Like there's no stalling now and there was stalling um, if you remember from the previous video when I picked it up at, or when I took it to the shop to have them adjust the tune, it stalled like right around the corner and it stalled a bunch of times and it kept stalling on the freeway and now it's not. So why it stalls sometimes and sometimes it doesn't, I have no idea and that's really the frustrating part about it and I think that's really where Sirius HP, you know, they're not completely to blame because it is intermittent. But they did do the whole tune thing, so if it's having an intermittent problem, it has to be related to what they did, obviously. So, um, but as far as them fixing it, it's difficult because they can't get, they can't reproduce the issue, and I can't even always reproduce the issue. So, um, the only thing I could say is if they just drive the car for a few days, you know, take it home, whatever, and um, see if it does it with them. I mean, I don't know, data log. I, I just need it fixed because I'm just tired of dealing with it, and the issues are minor. You know, they are minor, just despite what it sounds like. Um, but, you know, just annoying. Okay, we are arriving at Sirius HP, and it is almost 6 o'clock. It looks like they're open still, which is good. And I'm not really sure where I should park. All right, so I just dropped off the car. You can see it right there. They're gonna they're gonna be fixing it, so we'll we'll see. They're pretty confident they're gonna get it working. They said actually tomorrow to come after work, which would be like five six o'clock. So I'm curious to see if we get it working. I've got my ride here, and I'm gonna be driving the Accord, which I hate driving, and that's also why I've been driving the Scat Pack occasionally because it's hard driving the Accord when I have a cool car at home. It's difficult. But. So we are now back at home and this is going to be my new ride for the next uh, 24 hours I guess. So if I do get a new car for my wife I'm going to have to sell this one. I bought new lights for this thing a long time ago and I guess I'm going to finally put them in. Oh and this is new. See I got my, uh, it does look a lot better. For all the people watching the um, the video where the neighbors called the police on me, a lot of comments about how crappy my yard looked, but that was hurricane yard, not um not the way it normally looks. My house usually looks really nice. So the next big project I have is the garage, and I've been kind of slacking on it because there's like some building materials and there's a new toilet over there, but this is just ridiculous and it's not that much stuff to where I can't like clear it out to get the car in here but it's just gonna take a lot of work but anyway here are the lights I got these a while ago and I've just been too lazy to put them in but I think I will now so it looks like the car is only gonna take a day so hopefully I'll have it back tomorrow and it'll be running perfect and if that's the case I'm gonna do the order for drive shaft radiator I'm not sure about the radiator. I think maybe just a thermostat would be enough for what I want. Because the radiator is like 600 bucks. And I just don't know if it's worth spending $600 when I'm not sure if I need that much cooling capacity. I can just get a thermostat, which would lower, the, lower it and not have to spend a whole bunch of money. So let me know what you guys think about that. Do I need a new radiator or just a thermostat? Um, put a 180 in there and that should help and adjust the fans a little bit. Yeah, that's it for now. And hopefully the car will be running good. 
Everybody, thanks. Peace. Just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Weed is engaged in the pavement. Rubber escorts like I'm seeking arrangements. Push the gas, escalate the gauges. Escalate hits on the cam girls' pages. Blazes and hit him with a script full of sexy phrases.